This is Robert, Fort Creek Ranch. Amazing grazing. Long time no see. Life is hard. <laughs> We've got a few new additions though. I think you all have seen Bandit. He's uh, growing up real good, looks good. And here we got uh, Beatrice down here and she's got her a brand new heifer born Friday. Today is Monday. And she uh, she was real weak. I don't know what the deal was, but she's getting along pretty good now. What's up, Beatrice? I'd come in and uh, check on them and Beatrice would have her hold up somewhere and I'd ask Beatrice where she is and she'd walk me right to her. So her name is Grace. Hey girl. Yeah, she's she's lively now. For a couple days though, it was uh, worrisome. Come home from work on Friday and there she was. I just pulled in from work. But we got lots of forage and I, they've got the run of the whole pasture right now. I just haven't had time to move them, but uh, we seem to be uh, growing some good forage. I think uh, did some real intense rotating uh, for about a year straight, and I think that helped a lot. But we still got problems. Like right here, that's no good. And there, there is a bunch of that, but they eat around it. Can't remember what it's called, but it, it is uh, bad for uh, cows. I'm sure somebody out here knows what it is. But they're looking good. And uh, every one of them's had a baby. And uh, like I said, Beatrice, that's her second. You can barely see her. Grass is about as tall as she is. A lot of wild mustard still. Right there is wild mustard. I haven't tasted it, but. Here's Smokey, our first uh, bull calf. He's looking good, man. I think I'm gonna steer him, but I don't know. I keep thinking, nah, I kinda wanna grow him out. Maybe steer Bandit. Make Bandit the uh, eunuch. Or maybe I should do them both. I'd like to really get a uh, bull calf out of Ferdinand and uh, Beatrice. That's what I'd like to have a bull calf out of. But Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey is coming along nice. And there's Cinnamon. She's got them happy lines. Not even a year old yet. And she's already got a lot more uh, meat on her than her mother. So Ferdinand threw some good genetics at her. But we're looking good out here, folks. Watch. These guys don't really want me to get close to them. Well, that's a solid bull calf right there. And I'll bet uh, Bandit grows up. As he gets older, he'll fill out like that too. Smokey. By looking at your butt, I can tell you've had a lot of clover. <laughs> But 
Yeah, we got a good bit of forage growing. Pan around here real quick. Just a quick update. I know it's been a while. I need to get back on the horse as far as uh, keeping this channel going. Ferdinand's got, got some flies going on. But they're all right. They lived with flies a lot longer than we've been around them. We weren't here, what, a thousand years ago to give them uh, ivermectin that destroys our pastures. We're all natural here. What a specimen. Yeah, fly controls for the birds. If you don't care about your pasture, that's what you do. You just throw ivermectin all over them. And then that kills off the dung beetles. And then your pasture just goes downhill. So it's best to just let nature take its course. All right. Well, you all have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.